The National Anti-Corruption Strategy 2024 to 2027 was launched today at the Heritage Park Hotel. This is a significant milestone for the country, agencies and stakeholders who have the power to tackle corruption in Solomon Islands. The increasing complexity of corrupt acts, their transnational nature and adverse effect on our economy and the well-being of our people fully justified a concerted effort and a well-coordinated approach to fight against corruption. I mean, the launch is a, a very, very important milestone for uh, the uh, fight against corruption in the country and particularly for uh, the Solomon Islands Independent Commission Against Corruption. Uh, the national strategy uh, is very, very, it's a very, very important document uh, where and we cover them now what uh, stakeholders and how each and everyone shall work together uh, to fight corruption, particularly in the area of corruption prevention. So the launch today is a very uh, fundamental step towards uh, implementing the, uh, the underlying policies that you may like for implementing uh, under the, uh, the prevention uh, approach. Now, in relation to the launch as well, uh, the participation of and attendance of uh, the high level uh, uh, participants is, is a good sign. And we are so happy, uh, so grateful uh, to have the participation and uh, uh, yeah, the active, uh, active participation of various uh, stakeholders, both within the country and outside the country. The fight against corruption must involve everyone, government, private sector and civil society. Recognising this, the government has formed a steering committee to oversee and guide the implementation of the National Anti-Corruption Strategy. The committee includes representatives from the Solomon Islands Chamber of Commerce and Industries, Development Services Exchanges, government officials, and relevant development partners. This collaborative approach ensures ownership of the national anti-corruption strategy by all stakeholders and promotes transparency in our collective efforts to combat corruption. Well, I, I hear that you know when the when the law before Parliament was there, it was very you know civil society groups were very um, uh, involved, very active in terms of the advocacy for it. Uh, pushing for it to be adopted uh, in Parliament, uh, and then and it got adopted. Uh, but I think since then, uh, I think it's fair to say that all of us have been a bit quiet in terms of this space. Yeah, civil society groups, even those of us in Parliament as well. Uh, and I think it's fair to say that uh, it's time for us to come together again and uh, really uh, seek the political will uh, once again. You know, civil society group to push. Uh, make sure that um, the strategies get implemented, uh, just like they did when the bill was before Parliament. You know that sort of thing is needed again. So we look forward to to that uh, being the case once again. So rally all of us and uh, us in Parliament as well to continue to rally around this, because it's uh, very important for us. And I think it's um, impacting you, me, every society now. Yeah? Uh, so the fact that all of us are in this boat together and uh, all of us will benefit uh, when corruption is reduced in this country and uh, um, mitigated and uh, hopefully eliminated. Uh, that is what our aim is altogether. So I think um, we can have the great policies, we can have great laws and all of that, but if corruption is in the scene, then it impacts upon all those wonderful plans, policies and laws that we want to try and achieve for our nation as well. So cuts across all of society, so it needs all of society to come together and address it together. The National Anti-Corruption Strategy is a dynamic document and the government will adhere to actions outlined in the Strategies Action Plan. It will undergo review every 18 months to ensure it remains responsive to the evolving needs of the country in our ongoing battle against corruption.